talk about self-revealization acceptance. Self-revealization acceptance is the most profound consciousness-raising methodology ever devised, created, or, as the case may be, revealed, and it's been revealed to me. Now, what is it? So I have a little mantra. People always say, well, how do we know what you know, self-revealization is? Reveal your reality. Reveal your reality. Remember, if you're going to play, play. Don't play. And we'll get into that. Now, these are little, little witticisms, little apple themes and things like that, adages, whatever you want to call them. It doesn't matter to me what you call them. The fact is that once you understand how to use the language properly, and this has nothing to do with ethnicity, this has nothing to do with education, this has to do with desire, self, self, reveal, reveal, self-revealization, acceptance, what is revealed to myself, I accept or I don't accept. By non-acceptance is also an acceptance. We'll get into all of these things as we go along. The name of my book, and I'll show you the new cover, is Self-Revealization Acceptance, an introduction to your divine right to live in joy and freedom. Your divine right to live in joy and freedom, which is self-defined by you once you understand and use the methodology called self-revealization acceptance. Self-revealization acceptance teaches you how to create the universe and the world you want, finite, infinite. We'll get into all of these levels of consciousness as we go. That you define for yourself. Once you understand how to activate it through what I call the spirit of the thing itself. The spirit of the thing itself is exactly the spirit of the thing itself that you want to experience. There's a way to access this and to have it act instantly on the creative power of the universe. Now, you can define the creative power of the universe with any words you want to use. I call it the creative power of the universe because I don't want to pigeonhole what I have discovered through my own self-revealization acceptance as a universal causality. A universal causality. What do I mean by a universal causality? Well, wait a second. You're practicing this, that, or the other thing. You're practicing Jedi Knight. That's easy. I can get away with that one because I'm not touching anybody's specific religious aspect. Using the aspects of self-revealization acceptance, using the technique, understanding how to reveal your reality, because you're playing. You're playing. You're not playing. So here we go again with the variation of the words. And it's the variation of the words that will create for you the universe and the life, finite and infinite, that you want to experience. I'll put this down. This is the first book. The second book that I have recently released is called Practicing Self-Revealization Acceptance. This is 52 Weekly Ascensions to Empower Your Life. And what it is is very simple. What Practicing Self-Revealization Acceptance does, it takes the basic philosophy of SRA, transfers it in you as you and through you, activating it up by the spirit of the thing itself and bringing about all that which you wish to experience. Now, you, if you were to take it, when I, when I say 52 weekly ascensions, sure, do one a week. I mean, you can skip around. I mean, I have listed 1 to 52. You can know 19, 26, 38, 47, 4, 11, however you want to do it. But you take any of these, you take any of these, and just read them. Just read them. Once a day. That's all. Don't even give it any. Just read it. Okay? But do it every day. 
you will release in you an energy that you didn't even know exists. And this energy is a direct connection to the creative power of the universe. And the creative power of the universe says to you, in just about any religious tract that you will read, tell me what you want, and I will deliver it to you. The problem, my dear friends, is that people cannot accept the fact that they are magnificent. People cannot accept the fact that the universe was specifically created for them. Yeah, right, you say, well, what about him? He's got this problem, she's got that problem. I have this problem, okay? No. No. These illusions, okay, I'm not going to get into the Buddhist thing, everything's an illusion, nothing's real. That's nonsense. This is real. This feels. This hurts. This feels good at the proper time. But what you want to do is you want to establish yourself as the prime operative in your entire universe. If the universe was specifically created for me, and I know for a fact it was, That puts me on a completely different level of consciousness, which enables me to know that the universe was created specifically for you. Therefore, if it's my universe, it's your universe, it becomes our universe. Therefore, there's no need for conflict. Well, he's got this and I want that. No, you don't, man. You're just telling yourself you want that because you think that what he has or she has is more than what you have. You don't know what that other person is dealing with. I know what I'm dealing with. I even know the illusions and the falsities and the lies I tell myself. You say, well, I checked him out and he's this, that, and the other thing. No, you haven't the vaguest idea who I am until you know who you are. And once you know who you are, you have no problem with me being who I am. But you're too busy being you. So therefore, what it is that you're doing to be you is what identifies you with your reason for being. You want to be a writer? Yeah, I want to write like um, Ernest Hemingway. And every, write, every book he writes, you know, is a turn into a movie. Elmore Leonard. Shakespeare? Not going to happen. But the books I write, the books I write are definitely Kaufman. And every time I write another book, my craft gets better. I also practice my sword. I also practice my martial arts. I'm a Hanshi. Hanshi is the highest rank attainable in the entire martial arts world. You can get used to anything. You can take cyanide in the proper small doses and build up a tremendous resistance to it. And don't, don't you know, quote me, well, medically it says this, that. You know, we're not talking about that. We are talking about you. You. Why am I teaching? Because that's what I do. Why do I teach? Why did I pick up this self-revealization acceptance? How did it become to me? How did it enable to, like, reveal, enable me to reveal my reality? Because I got tired of playing at playing and decided. If I'm going to play, I'm going to play, not play. How do I get to myself to the next level of accomplishment? First of all, everything I do, I do for the creative power of the universe and enable myself to get, you know, work on getting myself out of the way between the work I'm doing and the energy and the wisdom and the blessings and gifts from the creative power of the universe. I do that through my spirit of the thing itself. Okay, I am playing on this level. I am writing on this level. I'm painting on this level. I'm doing business on this level. I'm making sales on this level. I'm into real estate on this level. How do I ascend to higher levels? You ascend to higher levels through 
the technique of self-revealization acceptance that insists, insists on being told what to do. Because if everything you're doing is for the pleasure of the highest creative power there is, it gives you more. It gives you more. When you have everything there is, you can give it all away. But you're not giving anything away because it's not yours, number one. And whatever it is that you're giving away is instantly replenished. This is a belief process. We'll go into this more and more and more and more.